Mayor Trader Rundown. Todd Bubba Horwitz is here to get our day going along. Good to have you on the show as always, Bubba. Good morning. Great to be here. I have to give you this question about the retailers. Now, I know you're not a huge fan, but I want you to pick one. We're hearing from Macy's, Kohl's, JCP this week, Nordstrom, even Coach. What do you, what do you think? Any names in here you like? I mean, if you if you put my feet to the fire, I, I, would am. I, I would look at Kohl's. I mean, they're, they're a good discounter. And I would look at Macy's. I mean, I think Macy's fell a little bit behind the times. I think they'll catch up. As far as J.C. Penney, I think they're going out of business. I don't think they have a chance. I know there's been some very dramatic calls to, to pause them on that, but I think that's more of a play on a cheap stock that might pop versus actual real growth over the next few years. Well, JCP is up about 40%. So it's had a nice run this year, but you're not buying into that. Uh, no, uh, truthfully, if it wasn't so cheap, I'd be a seller, but I don't short $6 stocks or $9 stocks. It just doesn't pay for me in, in, in my perspective. I think they have no chance. I think the whole retail business is in trouble. When you, when you look around, listen, we've missed since 2012, we have not had retail numbers be good. So why would I expect this time to be different when you've got Amazon now and now Walmart is jet in Jet, you know, they bought Jet so they could be more in the online space. Online shopping is really where it's at, and I think that is the key, and that's why JC Penney's, in my opinion, has no chance to make it. Amazon is hitting new highs this week. It is in record territory, trading above $770 too late to get in what would you do here well personally full disclosure i'm short amazon from right here but so you uh, want this stock to go well down. i mean i think it's going down i look at it's turning out to to resolve a lot of the issues that concern me the pe ratio is dramatically too high it's still high but even a train will stop for a cup of coffee and i think this is going to have probably some selling off here i mean i, I would not be afraid to buy it but I, i'll buy it here to me if you look at the risk reward model I don't think you've got a lot of reward buying it here as to where if you waited, you probably get a much better chance to buy it later. Good company and they're proving to me that they can make it happen. And you say there's reason to dispel this talk about the stock market being linked to what's going on with the price of oil. Why is that? I, I think they have absolutely nothing to do with it. I mean, you know, if you go back in time, we'll say last year, oil going down, oh, it's going to mean more, it's going to transfer more into spending. Well, it didn't. Okay, now oil's been down and now, oh, well, we need oil to go up, so the markets will go up. Well, in the meantime, the markets keep going up and oil has been up and down. And now from the last divergence, oil's down 20%, the stock market's up 20%. So where is, where is the correlation? It is an uncorrelated asset that once in a while will correlate to the stock market, but is a right, if you try to trade it that way, you're gonna lose a lot of money. You're fired up today. I am, I'm always fired up on your show, babe. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.